the first Sunday of Christmas, December 27th, 2020. We are reminded in the church year that Christmas does not end on December 26th. We're only beginning. There are 12 days of Christmas. And this is one of my favorite Sundays of the year. Even though we are in a global pandemic and are not able to be together in person today, we still get to have our lessons and carols. Thank you to everyone who helped participate in getting this service ready by participating in reading um, and reading our scriptures for us, and especially to Tim, who um, has dedicated a lot of time with so many different hymns to get recorded. So I'm very grateful to him as well. Please pay attention to our Facebook page and any email notices that you get regarding what's going on in the church. We are hoping to have an announcement um, in a couple weeks about when we will be able to be in person together again. So I'm looking forward to that time. In the meantime, continue to stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, and remember that Christ has come to us. Let us begin our worship today as we begin with our opening dialogue. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwell in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son of the Father. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. In the word was life, and the life was the light of all people. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have filled us with the new light of the word who became flesh and lived among us. Let the light of our faith shine in all we do. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our service continues as we begin with our first reading. A reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, and like warriors dividing the plunder. For you will break the yoke of their slavery, and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod, just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. The boots of the warrior and the uniforms blood-stained by war will all be burned. They will be fuel for the fire. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Word of God, Word of Life.
5. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, are only a small village among all the people of Judah, yet a ruler of Israel, whose origins are in the distant past, will come from you on my behalf. The people of Israel will be abandoned to their enemies until the woman in labor gives birth. Then, at last, his fellow countrymen will return from exile to their own land, and he will stand to lead his flock with the Lord's strength in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. Then his people will live there undisturbed, for he will be highly honored around the world, and he will be the source of peace. Word of God, word of life. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Word of God, word of life.
census should be taken throughout the Roman em Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because jo Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He had traveled he traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. And while they were, they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave, she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no lodging available for them. Word of God, word of love.
the baby was circumcised, he was named Jesus, the name given to him by the angel even before he was conceived. Then it was time for their purification offering, as required by the law of Moses after the birth of a child. So his parents took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. The law of the Lord says, if a wo woman's first child is a boy, he must be dedicated to the Lord. So they offered the sacrifice required in the law of the Lord, either a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly awaiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace, as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is the light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of your people Israel. Jesus' parents were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them, and he said to Mary, the baby's mother, This child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall, and many others to rise. He has been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. As a result, the deepest thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your very soul. Anna, a prophet, was also there in the temple. She was the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher, and she was very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. Then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but stayed there all day and night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. She came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. 
And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Word of God, word of life. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him, 
He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the wise men's report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. Word of God, word of life.
Be reminded that you are loved and that we extend God's peace with you. If you're in a room with others, share God's peace with them. And remember that there are a variety of ways to, to share God's peace. So um, I encourage you to send texts, emails, phone calls, and creative greetings to let one another know that we are still connected even though we are distanced from one another. May God's peace be with you always. While we are still social distance and not being able to pass our offering plate, I am eternally grateful to everyone who continues to mail in their offerings. Even though we are not gathering in person at this time, the ministry of this church still goes on and we are very dependent on what you bring into us. So thank you for all your donations and, and the monetary um, gifts that you have given this congregation. We are so grateful and we're able to do what we do because you gave. Thank you. Let us say our offering prayer together. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus, and we thank you for the gifts that you have given us, ourselves, our time, and our treasure. We ask, Lord, that you bless these gifts and that you use it to help strengthen the ministry of this church. It's in Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. We continue with our prayers. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share our humanity. Have mercy on the sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may bear your light in all the world. Hear us now, Lord, as we pray together the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord our God. Thanks be to God. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is born. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.